What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm here to review the Lawnmower 3.0 Manscaping um, trimmer, shaver, whatever you're gonna call it. So I've I've never used anything like this before. Um, I've I know there's a 2.0. I haven't used that either. I just went ahead and picked up the 3.0. Um, <clears throat> so. I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I at least can tell you my thoughts on this product alone and what I think about it. Uh, first, I want to say is that it's a little expensive. I think I paid like 75 bucks for it out the door from Target. So you could buy this at Target too. You don't have to order online. Um, I don't know if it's cheaper or it's about the same or who knows. But if you want to get the Lawnmower 2.0 at Target, you can do that as well. And right now it's only running like $49.99. And it has uh, something that comes with it. So on the back of the box, on the side, should I say, it tells you what all it comes with. That's not focusing. Looks like it's the dock, a little brush to clean it, the charging unit, uh, I guess the clipper to put on it, and the actual trigger itself. Open it. There it is. Feels, feels uh, very well made. Doesn't feel cheap at all. So that's pretty good. Inside, got the loading dock or charging dock, whatever you want to call it. So you just lay it down. A little white bag. This is Manscaped. And then the actual charging unit stuff. And then I guess instructions to use it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and I'll let you know how it goes, what my thoughts are on it, how I feel about it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not a real big channel, so I know this isn't a sponsor in any way. I'll give you my honest review if I actually do like it, if I think it was worth the money, if I think someone else should buy it. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I guess I should have done this before, but when you turn it on, I guess this is like one of the main difference about this compared to the 2.0. You hit the power button, and it's got a blue LED light, in case you gotta do this in the dark. I think another thing that I've seen before is that it's actually longer, uh, so therefore it has a bigger battery, and lasts a lot longer. But anyways, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, I'm back. Just got done using the Lawnmower 3.0 with uh, Skin Safe technology. Uh, so I just want to start off saying that this is gonna be an honest review, like I said before. I'm not sponsored by Manscaped at all, in any way, shape, or form. Um, sorry, I say I do like it. It's a nice product. It's well made. It feels good. The grip is nice. It has like this diamond pattern on it. Um, actually, something I really, really do like is the light. The light kind of really helps you mm, see everything, you know. Uh, yeah, like when there's shadows, the light, you know, shines on, normally you probably would be able to see and get every crevice. So I'm a big fan of that, definitely. Um, <clears throat> so I tried it first with a little comb on it, and I felt pretty safe with it. You know, I could just use it, whatever, no problem. But then I got, to my, got myself thinking is, do I, can I use it without the comb? You know, just the straight blades like this. Uh, to get a little bit of a closer shave, and I think you can, uh, but once you get like a little bit lower down to like your balls, I do not recommend it. Uh, I used it and I did nick myself, so don't get it twisted. You for sure, one hundred percent, can cut yourself with this if you're not careful. Uh, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying definitely be careful when you do it. Okay, cut myself, start bleeding a little bit, but. It's all good, tip top Magoo. 
Uh, so before I use this thing, I had not shaved down there in like two months. It was a nightmare. So now I'm looking pretty good. Um, as far as money goes, the price for this actual product, I paid like out the door 75 bucks with taxes included from Target. And it's hard to say. I like it. Um, 75 bucks is kind of a lot. I know you can get the 2.0 for like 20 bucks cheaper. Um, it sucks that you know just haven't tried any, anything else similar to this to know you know what's a good comparison to it. But I recommend it. Yeah, I mean if you can afford it, definitely I, I would say pick this up. Uh, I used it in the shower, so it's they, they claim it's hundred percent waterproof, and I believe it. You know I was running water on it the whole time. I didn't get shocked or anything like that. It didn't stop working, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan, you know, I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but if you can afford it, I'd say get it, pick it up, why not? Um, yeah, it's pretty nice, so that's my review for you.